Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it is Friday, it is the weekend, it is weigh-in day, WW Workshop Topic Day. I'm gonna share with you how my week was, we're gonna talk all about it, and whether or not when I stepped on the scale this week, I gained, I lost, or I maintained. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on so you never miss a Friday weigh-in, and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories. This is how I lost 90 pounds in the year of 2022, and I am down almost 140 pounds total. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching to speak with me directly and for extra accountability. Also in the description box, you will find links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. We would love to have you come on over and join us there as well. It's free. It's supportive. We have 26,000 members and it's one of my favorite places to be. So we'd love to have you head on over and join us. So let's go ahead and jump into my week, my weigh-in and the WW workshop topic. you had an amazing, amazing week. I definitely had a better week life related this week than I did the previous week. If you didn't know my dog Lola, my baby, my best friend was diagnosed with lymphoma about two weeks ago, which is a cancer that is common in dogs. It is treatable, but it is not curable. And we did decide to go ahead and put Lola through chemotherapy to give her a better quality of life. And of course, to have her in our lives longer. She's such an important part of our family, and I feel so lucky to have her that I wanted to make sure that I could keep her healthy as long as possible. So we did decide to move forward with chemotherapy. I did an entire update on her in this last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day video, so I'll link that down below for you so you can get caught up on Lola. This week was definitely better with Lola, and just life is back to a little bit more normal than it has been the last couple of weeks. It's a little less stressful, which I'm grateful for. I had an interesting week when it came to activity. I actually did a 5k with my boot camp group on Saturday of this last week. It was a wine 5k where you run for wine. Basically at the end, we got a shirt, we got a mug, we took lots of pictures. It was so much fun. It was such a great 5k and boy, was I sore the next day. It was a lot of uphill. My calves and my inner thighs were so sore, but it was absolutely so much fun. It is something that our group does once per month. And in fact, in March, we're doing a mud girl fun run with obstacles. Super excited for that. And it's just a great way to get in some fun physical activity. I also got in all of my workouts this week. I did skip boot camp on Monday because it was raining, but I did go to the gym, did the elliptical, lifted weights. I feel really good about my activity for the week. And honestly, working out, moving my body, even just taking a walk is my sanity. When life gets busy, when life happens, going on a walk and moving my body, I just feel so much better. It's just really, really good for not only my physical health, but my mental health as well. I feel really good about my food choices this week. I did eat out a couple of times. I do have an entire video coming out on Sunday about tips and tricks to eat out and continue to lose weight. You guys have asked for this video for a long time, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because it's coming your way on Sunday. Before I jump into my weigh-in, I wanna talk about this week's WW Workshop topic because I love it. I'm loving this whole series of healthy habits. And this week's topic is how to build healthy habits that stick. Kind of going back to my exercise, that is 100% a habit for me. It's just something I do daily. And it was really easy to build that healthy habit and have it stick. Have you ever forced yourself to do something that you absolutely dislike just for the sake of losing weight? Did you even do it over and over again because it was supposedly good for you? These types of things, they're not going to stick. Any exercise that you despise and hate, you're not going to stick with. You have to find something habit related that you enjoy. So Weight Watchers has some really great tips for us. Number one is to choose a focus. Maybe it's eating better, moving more, sleeping soundly, or shifting your 
thinking. Number two is to list three specific behaviors that will help with this focus. So maybe it's eating breakfast every day or having veggies at every meal or pre-tracking your dinner. Number three is to pick one to try and then decide how you'll do it three times this week. I'll pre-track my dinner right after lunch on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Tip number four, at the end of the week, reflect. Did you feel a positive impact? If the answer is yes, bingo. The behavior is ripe for habit formation. Now choose a cue that reminds you to repeat the action consistently. Maybe your answer is not really. Test drive another behavior from your list. Like I said, building habits is easy once you implement habits that you can stick with. So let's kind of go back to tracking your food because we know that people who track their food are more successful with their weight loss journey. For me, I have a very routine tracking habit. When I sit down and eat breakfast, that's when I track my protein coffee for the day, my breakfast, and I'll even track anything else that I know that I'm going to be eating for the day. And because I meal prep, my snacks and lunches are often pretty similar throughout the week. I also have two protein supplements every day, so I'll track whatever second protein supplement I'm going to have. I may even track dinner if I'm having leftovers or I know what I'm going to make. And this basically will deduct my points and calories for the day, so I kind of know what I have left over. This is just a habit that I do without thinking. When I eat my breakfast, I track my food. It only took me a few times of doing this before that habit was developed. It all starts with a cue. So for me, breakfast is my cue to track my food. Getting up in the morning to my alarm is my cue to get my workout clothes on and go do my workout. It all starts with different cues for you that cue you to do that healthy habit. Generally, these healthy habits lead to some type of positive impact, which makes it even more desirable to continue doing them. If your behavior has an immediate positive impact, that's a bonus. But a lot of these habits, that positive impact comes with repeating them over and over again. For example, going back to tracking your food. You're not going to lose weight the first day you track your food, but if you consistently track your food for weeks and months, you're going to see success in weight loss. So that positive impact is a little bit delayed, but it comes with being consistent in tracking your food. Let's define what a habit is predictable actions we do automatically under similar circumstances. So you brush your teeth every morning and every night, that's a habit. I work out every day, that's a habit. I track my food at breakfast, that's a habit. There are so many ways to reach your goals that you don't have to force anything. If you hate walking on the treadmill, don't do it. Find an activity that you enjoy because that's what you're going to actually stick with. If you told me that I had to go to the gym every day and do the elliptical, I'm not gonna stick with that for very long because I don't like it. If you tell me I can go to boot camp three days a week, I'm here for it because I really, really enjoy that type of workout. You have to find something that works for you that you enjoy and that's what's going to help you build that healthy habit. I also want to share with you three fast facts. Number one, repetition helps us turn a behavior into a habit. Number two, when a behavior is simple and makes a positive impact on us, we're more likely to repeat it. And number three, turning a behavior that supports weight loss into a habit makes it simpler to do. Habits should be easy. You shouldn't have to think about them and they should be something that you just do every single day without really having to put a lot of thought into them. Again, going back to brushing your teeth or for me, moving my body or tracking my food with breakfast. By doing these things over and over again, repeating these, being consistent, you'll have a healthy habit in place before you know it. And make sure whatever you're doing to lose weight, you have to do to maintain your weight. That includes exercise, tracking your food, making your food choices. Those healthy habits should become lifetime healthy habits. And all of these tips and tricks will help you get there. I love this topic. I love healthy habits. And for me, that has been a big key factor in my overall success. So I love that we're keeping it simple and talking all about habits this month with Weight Watchers. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. Like I said, I did all my workouts. I had a little less stress this week, which was really nice, which was a nice change of pace from the last few weeks. And when I stepped on the scale, I lost weight again. And this week I lost 0.8. That's almost a full pound. And that says a lot for someone who's real close, if not at her goal weight. Like I said, I've been trying to get healthy and as lean as possible before my plastic surgery in May because I want to get the best results from my surgery. Now, I don't anticipate losing a lot of weight prior to May. I was actually really surprised that I lost 0.8 this week. I am more than happy maintaining my weight. I just want to lean down 
get develop a little bit of lean muscle, shrink my body, recomp my body a little bit before my plastic surgery, but I'm obviously not mad about losing almost another entire pound. So I will go ahead and put up here on the screen my current weight as well as how much I have lost total. I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised and grateful for a little bit of a loss this week and we'll see what happens moving into the next week. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? Let us know what are some of your healthy habits that have helped you with your weight loss down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys and chatting with you guys back and forth in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed another weigh-in video, and give it a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because again, I upload a new weigh-in every Friday in five videos every single week. Don't miss my top five tips for eating out and losing weight coming your way this Sunday. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.